dizziness, drowsiness, hypotension, and respiratory depression. Now let's proceed and talk about benzodiazepines. Now benzodiazepines enhance the effect of the what we call the GABA acid, which is the neurotransmitter gamma amino butyric acid, right? And this is what results in the sedative, the hypnotic, which is sleep-inducing, and the anxiolytic, which is the anti-anxiety effect of this drug, and obviously also its anti-convulsant effects. Now benzodiazepines has been known as a medication that is commonly used for acute mania, okay? Now the most common NCLEX medication that belongs in the benzodiazepine category that is used as an anti-seizure drug is clonazepam or clonopin. Now remember that we need to educate our patients and let them know that clonazepam decreases the levels of carbamazepine if combined, okay? And also if um, clonazepam is, is being combined with the use of um, certain antidepressants and uh, anti-epileptics such as, let's say, phenobarbital, phenytoin, and uh, certain antipsychotics, and even with alcohol, it can result in severe enhanced sedative effects to the patient. So we gotta make sure and educate the patient. Now, side effects can include to see more videos like this or check out other NCLEX resources that can help you review for your NCLEX exam, please visit allnursingnotes.com. That's allnursingnotes.com or just click the link below.